Alright guys, today we're going to be doing pasta buscaola. This was the pasta for the lumberjacks, people that were cutting timber, cutting logs. Today I'm going to show you how to make it. Alright, so our first step is actually to take our sausage and to just cut the skin off. And this is, I will say, an optional step. It's a step that I like to do because it makes the uh, sausage uh, more palatable in the pasta. And that's what we're always shooting for. We always want sausage with pasta as opposed to pasta with sausage. So we're cutting, you can see we're cutting the, the skin here. And this is about four links or a pound of sausage. So you see the skin comes right off here. And that's what we're shooting for. If it breaks up, that's completely all right. Okay, and I'm just crushing it up with a fork here just so that when we put it into our pan, it's going to be palatable. Just like so. So the first step, we're gonna take our extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna be generous. Remember, this isn't a healthy dish. This is a dish with love. And once we come in with our extra virgin olive oil, we are going to come in with our hot sausage here. Remember, we're doing 500 grams or a pound of pasta, so that means we're doing about, about a pound of hot sausage. About four links. And we're slowly breaking up our sausage here. So we're going to actually crush up our garlic here, and we're doing four cloves of garlic for 500, uh, 500 grams of pasta or a pound of pasta. And get in there, and we're just going to come in. Actually, we're doing five cloves of garlic, I'm sorry. So a clove of garlic for every... 100 grams of pasta. And that's what we're doing. And then we just get that garlic off. All right. Okay. All right, so now we're ready for our mushrooms here. And remember, the mushrooms are going to sweat out the water. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're going to let these mushrooms cook. Okay, now you can see these mushrooms are cooking. 
we're just gonna come in with just a little bit of little bit of parsley just just a little bit nothing crazy just a little bit of parsley just to kind of get our beak wet so to speak as we're cooking this you're gonna enjoy yourself we're gonna have a little bit of white wine and you're gonna relax this is a relaxing process this pasta doesn't take very long so before you know it you'll be enjoying this pasta with your friends and family we're just gonna add a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper a little bit of pepper a little bit of salt all right now we're ready for the white wine nothing crazy just a little bit of white wine just to add a little extra flavor this is going to cook off put our white wine into our buscaola we're going to have it evaporate and then we're going to eventually add our tagliatelle and once we add our tagliatelle we're going to add our marscapone a little bit more parsley and our pecorino romano cheese and you'll see how it gets real nice and creamy now that we are cooking our pasta, we're gonna put some salt in the water. Okay, so now we got this uh, cooking here. Soon we're gonna be putting our tagliatelle in our water. We're gonna get a little pasta mug of water and we're going to cook this until it is delicioso. All right, now that we have our buscaola pasta, or buscaola, our hot sausage, our mushrooms, our parsley, our wine, our salt and pepper, we're gonna cook this until the water boils. Now that we've got our hot sausage and our mushrooms and parsley, we're going to cook this until the water boils. And then once the water boils, we're gonna cook the egg, well actually we don't have egg tagliatelle, we actually have semolina tagliatelle. Egg tagliatelle might be a better choice for this, but we did the semolina tagliatelle, and once that actually boils, we're gonna put it into our pasta, and then you'll see how we make our cream sauce. Okay, now our water is boiling. We're gonna come in with our tagliatelle, and we're just gonna come in with our 500 grams, and they are gonna swim. This is a nine minute cook for mole sana tagliatelle semolina. However, we're gonna do it for about seven or eight minutes and then we're gonna put it into our pasta. Sauce, pasta sauce. Here, just so it doesn't stick. Again, we have a big, big pot of water. We got our uh, salt and we got our tagliatelle and it's cooking. About eight minutes, we're just gonna put it into our sauce here. Try to do it as clean as you can. Okay, so now we're just going to come in with a, about a half a mug, mug of pasta water. Remember, this is going to evaporate. And um, we're just going to come in with our tongs here and mix it in. We're going to cook this. Into our hot sausage. It's cooking another minute here. And once we cook it, maybe one more minute, we're going to turn our gas off. And then what we're going to do is just come in with our mascarpone cheese here with our pasta water you're gonna see this is gonna melt it's gonna melt into our sauce and we're gonna flip it a bit
So, all right, so now we're actually going to come in with some pecorino. And we're actually going to come in with a little bit more of our parsley. And we're going to just come in, mix it in there. Now we're ready to serve it. We're going to come in with our tongs here, with our delicious plate. We're going to come in with a little bit of our sauce on top here. That is our buscaola pasta. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. We taste the sausage and the mushrooms and the parsley as an extra set of flavors there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, it would be highly appreciative.